What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe, if you don't know me, but yeah, that's my name. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because I normally do makeup, fashion, beauty. I just have fun with myself here and you guys also, the ones who are watching me. Thank you so much for watching me. You're much appreciated. So basically today I'm just going to do a simple makeup look because I like to film this kind of get ready with me for filming because nowadays this COVID, you don't go anywhere. So basically we are just getting ready for filming. So yeah, let's just, there's a really messy table right here. <laughs> it's so messy, but let's just get into the video. And uh, the first thing that I normally do is that I'm sweet, 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 sweet time because I have nowhere to go. So yeah, so the first thing after moisturization is that I throw in my eyebrows because I basically have no eyebrows. If you can see, I don't have any eyebrows. So I'm just going to draw that in and we are drawing it in. I hope you guys can see me because uh, this setup is really weird, really freaky. And uh, I'm hoping that you guys can see me. <laughs> yeah. That's just my only hope. I like to draw my eyebrows really, really high up on my face because I'm old and I need to look younger. So if you haven't seen my video on how to look younger, go watch it. My eyebrows are not always symmetrical, but we have tried. Everything I do, oh by the way, I normally do my makeup in a very unconventional manner. Like, yes, it's considered conventional some of the parts, but most of the time it's very unconventional. So, you'll see me. <laughs> This is a mascara that I absolutely used to love. If you haven't yet used this mascara, make sure you try it. It was amazing. It was wonderful. And it's over. So the wand even has hairs, as you can see. I have used it for plenty of things, from straightening my hairline all the way to straightening my brows, or my fake brows in this case. So I'm just going to comb through that. So if you don't have a spoolie, you can use an old mascara wand. I mean, it's just the same as a spoolie. And you know, because it has still a bit of the black mascara, it adds something to the brows. But I would not advocate for this method because your eyebrows would wash off in a heartbeat. It's just that I'm using them for filming. Probably by the end of the day, these eyebrows will be off by themselves. And then next, I'm just going to take a mascara. Not a mascara, sorry, a concealer. And just like define my brows. Definition. So I got me again the Ailey Girl Concealers. Because I like that brush. That it normally comes with this tiny tiny brush it's really dandy handy basically it's very handy when it comes to like defining brows you know if you don't have fun with makeup then you're doing it wrong makeup is supposed to be fun it's not supposed to be like limiting it's not supposed to be you know serious so crooked eyebrows are welcome. Because nobody does makeup perfectly. Let me just be honest with you guys. Nobody. Not even the people who are so-called beauty gurus. One man's makeup is another man's poison. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking this foundation, which is the Fit Me foundation, and I'm just going to apply it all over my face. No, should I do foundation? No, let me do my eyeshadow first and then I'll do foundation. So what I'm going to do with the... I'm going to just apply a bit of eyeshadow primer. And I'm using the Ailey Girl Pro Primer in the shade white. 
is white, it's white. <laughs> so nice shadow primer. So once I've done that, as I always say, this illegal primer normally cakes really, really fast. So you have to like brush it out really fast. And I'll just use this little brush. This is my phone. Okay, next we are going to take our eyeshadow. And I really want a simple eyeshadow look. I want to do a pink eyeshadow because I rarely do pink. In fact, I never do pink eyeshadow. So I'm just going to try and do pink eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take a neon pink pigment. And I'm going to dip it in the crease of my eye. Oh my good lord, that, that's a lot. I'm just going to take okay. wow that is bright I'm going to take another shade a shimmer shade and I'm just going to apply it right under this here now this is a shimmer shade of like burgundy red and it's the one I'm applying like under my brows for definition, for highlight and definition. Yeah, that'll go. That'll do. Why does this eyeshadow feel so cold? Do these metallic eyeshadows like feel cold or is it just, oh, okay. It's because I'm touching this thing here because I was wondering why it's so cold. Touching, turns out I was touching this metal. Okay, now once we're done with that, we can blend in the, the pink one into that shima one blending it in so that they can merge goodness that is terrible blending but hey you get the drift today i'm just in a mood of having fun nothing serious oh my back is itchy oh okay it's the wig the wig is making me itch Okay, I think we are done. What I'm going to do next is that I'm going to take a white shade. So that I can just dab it in the inner corners of my eye. Now let me do the eyeliner first and then I'll put the white shade. So I'm just going to use the Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner that I'm just going to use to create a wing. So guys, next I'm just going to take lashes because lashes are everything they frame our face they make you look pretty they make you look sweet they make you look gorgeous they make you look adorable now how am i gonna remove this with this nails that's the science <laughs> So this glue is normally like is the black one but when it comes out of the tube it's blue 
So I have to wait until it turns black. Then that's when I can put it on my face. That means if it turns black, it's sticky enough. So if you're a Kenyan or something, if you use such glue, there's some common glue that's normally sold called I. I think it's just a Chinese brand in Kenya. If you want it to work well, make sure that your glue is sticky. And by the time it turns sticky, you'll see it turning black, like jet black. It will look bluish out of the bottle. So in the meantime, oh, that is disgusting. In the meantime, I'm just going to apply the foundation. The foundation of all things. Oh, look at that ring. It's so shiny and pretty. I bought this from AliExpress. So if you haven't seen my AliExpress haul, head on over there. That's where the fun happens. So I'm just going to apply a generous amount of foundation. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in Warm Coconut, which is 356. I'm still yet to find my real Maybelline shade. Because my skin is like a chameleon. It's the kind of skin that changes every single day. It gets cold, it gets darker. It gets hot, it gets darker. It gets cool, it gets lighter. It gets what? It gets that. So you have the point. So. Ah, this is. As you can see, if you've been following me, you know that. The last time I used this foundation was in my previous video, Get Ready With Me video, and it was applying so well. Now it looks like a mask because my skin is just like that. It's just like that. It changes. So don't ask me or don't write in the comment section that you're using the wrong shade, blah, 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 blah. I've had like three different Maybelline shades and every single one of them works sometimes sometimes it doesn't work so who can you blame it's not the company you blame your skin <laughs> so don't come in the comment section like ah oh, you're using the wrong shade blah, 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 blah. i suggest that you bring me my right shade Okay, this video is honestly taking way longer than it's supposed to be because I don't see why I should take like 20 minutes on eyelashes, seriously. But if you know that you're not yet subscribed and you know that I'm putting in so much effort, please log out of this video. Please log out of it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just joking. <laughs> just subscribe. So, I decided to switch to this Maybelline one and I'm using the shade Caramel, which is number 40. I don't know, it's written 40, so I'm a, I can remember it was Caramel if I'm not wrong. And I also like this applicator. This applicator is better for this kind of application, so I'm just going to like... Dab a few dots here and there. And I'm just going to like apply some right there. Why does this look so little? I think I'm going to use the Revlon one on my nose because it's, I like it on my nose. It's so bright, so I'll just use it as a highlighter, cream highlighter. Why have I just gone in with this beauty blender? I forgot. Just add a little bit more honest i'm old i need all the concealer i need i'm not old i'm just you know okay. 
You brought it down and it looks all. I'm just going to go in with this beauty blender. brightening powder which I normally use the Sasha Buttercup as a brightening powder because it's so yellow and so bright so I'm just going to use it under my eyes to brighten them to set and brighten yeah it does not um... kick Get in there. With that, I'm going to shade with the lips. Yes, I'm going to do the lips because why not? Because we're waiting for this face to bake. So I'm just going to use a pencil. A sip in 2001. I actually did a video called 2000 makeup versus 2010 makeup go check it out and I really made fun of these pencils little did I know I'd go back to using them after watching several TikToks then I realized the teenagers are doing this if we're in the 2000s so next I'm just going to use this Maybelline super stay matte ink in a shade Amazonian this Amazonian always used to backfire on me but I'm just like whatever we'll have to use you because I bought you Okay, I don't mind my application. Okay. And oh, see, I nearly spilled the whole pot. And then we are going to use this Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. And I'm just going to apply it strictly around my lips, just around the lips. And I'm going to try and blend it out. So there we have our shiny lips. Mm, not very even. Yeah, there we have our lips. Now we just have to do the setting powder and the highlight and look like boss babes. I said I'm going to uh, buy the Fenty Beauty, but there's COVID. And we're cash strapped. So. I decided to buy the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish in the shade Toffee, 
for those of you who know i was using the shade caramel but turns out this toffee one is even better than the caramel on my skin so i'm just going to remove first this one with a brush get off you your work here is done get up Look at that. Wow. I think I'll contour my nose before I apply the setting powder. So I'm just going to take a little brush. And I normally contour my nose using a dark brown eyeshadow. Yes, I told you. Unconventional methods to get the job done. So I just, this brush is kind of thick, but I normally prefer a very, very thin brush. So I just start from here. the long run so next i'm just going to if you watch the previous um what is it called a get ready with me it was horrible i was patchy i was skinny I was... so i was saying if you watch the previous get ready with me i was in a horrible 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 mood but this one i'm in a mood because at least i have all the products the last one i didn't even have a beauty blender my beauty blender had gotten lost somewhere i didn't have good concealer I was just in a bad foul mood, but this time, see, huh. I'm fire, I'm fire, yeah. So we are going to use the setting powder just to like, oh, just look at it. It's blending so flawlessly with that foundation, like, wow. I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this. So I'll just, the only thing remaining is highlights. And then we're good to go. Look at that. Damn, girl. So now I'm just going to comb my hair and do some earrings. And then I'll be back. I'm just going to use these earrings that I also bought on AliExpress. If you haven't seen, oh, the lighting is so bad. If you haven't seen my AliExpress haul, you're missing out because I, I, I got this here. So if you've reached this point in the video, honestly, you are a legend because this video is extremely, 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 extremely long. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.